Good morning guys, you can hardly see me. But welcome to another weekly vlog. Today is Monday and right now it is like 6 a.m. and I had to wake up half an hour earlier than I was planning to to clean my house because it is a mess. I filmed last night because I had to get it done. But um, by the time I finished, I was way too tired to actually clean up. So that's what I have to do now. So I have to put away all this stuff on my kitchen counter. It's not like a whole lot of stuff. I have to tidy up. Oh, it's so bad lighting here. I have to tidy up all of that stuff there and that stuff there. All of the stuff that's on my couches and on the floor here. So, oh, actually no. And my bathroom is the worst right now. Like look at all of this oh my goodness Hey guys, it is Tuesday today. It's about lunchtime. I'm, oh my goodness. Oh no, it's okay. I have this candle that I'm burning, but it's got like a huge flame on it and I have it right next to a fake plant and I'm so scared the fake plant is going to catch on fire. So I should probably move that. Today is Tuesday. It is actually Anzac Day, so lest we forget, I'm so glad that we do have a holiday to just remember the people who sacrificed their lives for us so that we can live such an incredible life of freedom and peace. So today is Anzac Day. Um, I don't have work or anything today because most of the shops are closed anyway. So today I have been doing uni work all morning. I literally woke up at 6.30 a.m. and I started on my uni work and it's now like 12.30 and I'm stopping to have lunch. I did stop a few hours ago at like nine and I had a little bit of a break and then I got back to work and now it's 12.30 and I'm having a break. It has taken me a lot longer than I thought to do the work that I plan to do, which is really, really frustrating. I feel like I'm, I'm really stressed basically. I feel like I'm really falling behind. I'm into, I'm in this like mode that I get in when I get into like serious uni work or school work where I literally do not care about anything apart from uni work until it gets done. So like right now I haven't showered. I didn't even eat breakfast. I kind of forgot. I didn't mean to forget guys. I just I just get really consumed in my schoolwork or my uni work or like obviously it used to be schoolwork but now it's uni work. And so I don't care what I look like. I don't care if I'm gross, if I need a shower, if I need to wash my hair. I'm just like, no, I must study. And I'm in that mode at the moment. So like I'll take a break for lunch, but then I'll be back into it and then I can't remember if I'm going to my parents for dinner tonight or tomorrow night. On the weekend I organized with them to like go over either tonight or tomorrow night but I can't remember which day that I organized so I need to call mum because I like calling her and chatting to her anyway. Oh my gosh my hair. But um, I'll call her and ask her which day it was and if it's tonight then I'll just go and have dinner at their house and then I'll come home and keep working until I go to bed and then tomorrow I have work really early I have work at 6 a.m. so that'll be fun but um this week is just like a really like stressful week I don't know how many uploads I'm gonna get like obviously my vlogs are going up but they're already a day late like today is Tuesday and I'm uploading the first part of the weekly vlog which you guys would have already seen um today and I usually like to do it on Mondays and then obviously because of that the second part will go up tomorrow and then I don't even know if I'll have time to edit a video before Saturday I have like four pieces of assessment due this week so it's like really hectic one of them I'm almost finished and I'll finish that one in like probably about half an hour after I start working again after my break and then I have another one which I want to finish today or at least like finish the main part of it and then so all I have to do is kind of like proofread it go over it and fix up a few things then I have a draft due on Friday which I really haven't worked on that much and an exam on Saturday which I have been studying for but it's also like linguistics which you guys know that I hate we will see how that goes I'm hoping that I can get these two pieces of assessment done today so I can focus on the other two for the rest of the week and I'm hoping that I don't feel so overwhelmed that I cry because that happens sometimes 
Yay, yay, yay. I love mid-semester. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like at the end of semester. It's going to be like 20 times worse than this, but I'm really happy that I finally have internet here, obviously, because it makes my life so much easier when it comes to doing assessment and uni work and all that sort of stuff. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to keep up with my work a lot easier than I did in the first half of the semester. And hopefully I'll be able to kind of get back on track and catch up and figure out my kind of routine that I want to have because I actually think I can start doing that now. So this week is going to be super hectic and super full on with just uni work and those sort of things. I've had a few people message me saying like, we need to catch up. And I'm like, I do want to catch up, but I don't have time this week at all. I'm so sad. Like even my boyfriend, I'm probably not going to see him till I finish my exam on Saturday. So, and that's like a long time for us, <laughs> but ugh, I'm going to go and finish cooking my lunch and I'm going to eat my lunch and then I'm going to get back to work. But you guys really like hearing about my uni work and my school work and stuff. And I realized I haven't really talked about it much while I've been at uni. Like when I was at school, I talked about my school work all the time, kept you guys updated. I've been watching a lot of my old vlogs back and I thought it was like really interesting watching them back. So I thought maybe you guys would want to hear about my uni work because I know that if I was someone who was about to go to uni or in uni, I would find this really interesting. So hopefully you guys aren't bored to death and I'll talk to you guys later. So I'm back doing my work and I thought I would tell you guys how I like study for this certain subject that I do but um basically with this subject I have online lectures so I don't have to go into uni to watch a lecture for this subject they just post all the videos online and so what I do is when I go through all the videos as I watch them I will literally pause and start them and like stop and start them the whole way through and it literally takes me hours and hours and hours and hours to get through all of the things like I was doing this for like five hours yesterday and like since 6 30 this morning and I've only just gotten through like one week's worth of stuff and I will write down notes so like I'll start watching it and then I'll pause it every pretty much every minute and then I'll record everything that I want to say all the notes that I want to make in um, a one note little page I guess so I'll show you. So a few weeks ago we did depression and anxiety and I recorded all of the notes for that. And um, oh, you can see my video uploading. But usually I'll have the um, lectures on this half of the screen. So that's why I only have it on half a screen. And then last week we did schizophrenia and stress, which was really interesting. And then this week we did health in later life and also measurement and intelligence. So obviously I've recorded all of those. And now that I have finished all of the lectures, so I finished like watching them all, I'm going to go through and read what I've written out loud. And that might sound really, really stupid, but that, this is what I do every week. So with this subject, we get weekly quizzes on all of the stuff that we've learned. But it's not only just from the stuff we learned from this week, it's on like everything we've learned in all the previous weeks as well. So it's like a compiled group of questions I guess but what I like to do is I like to read through out loud all of the notes that I've written because it kind of just helps me to reiterate it to myself repeat it to myself makes it easier to understand I guess and then I literally look like terrible with these bags under my eyes <laughs> but after that I will actually start the quiz and I'll do the quiz and then because I have obviously like an end of semester exam and all that sort of stuff I will then go through all of these notes that I've written out on the computer and I will rewrite all of them in a binder so then I have all of the information in a binder so when I go back to revise them I can um, look back on the notes that I have and it's all in one spot and I find it better to write it out because I learn it a lot more but just with the week to week I don't really have enough time usually so that's how I study for this subject it kind of differs for whatever subject I'm doing because different things work for different subjects but yeah good night guys I'm about to go to bed I went and had dinner with my parents and my brother came as well and it was really really nice we had chicken schnitzel and I love chicken schnitzel. It is my favorite food. So I did that and then I just came home and continued to work on my philosophy work that I had to do. And um, then I just, <laughs> I'll, I'll just like explain this quickly. But um, so I have this Bible study that I go to every Monday and I just get to sit with a group of people who are really, really cool and really, really wise. And they're all like my sort of age and just hear kind of like what they have to say about certain topics that we talk about. And earlier this year, one of the guys was kind of talking about just spending time with God and like making time for God. And he said this thing called kicking it with Jesus. And rather than saying, I'm going to go do a devotion or I'm going to go and read my Bible or I'm going to go and do whatever they want to do to spend time with God. He was like, I just want to kick it with Jesus. 
And I thought that was such a cool way of putting it because it's like, that's how it feels for me. Like, like whether I'm reading my Bible, listening to worship music, listening to like a podcast or a sermon or something, or just like praying or just chatting to God in general, it literally feels like I'm spending time with a friend. And that might sound really weird, but that's just how it feels. So it feels like I'm just kicking it with a friend and just chilling out. So if you ever hear me say, I just spent some time with Jesus, or I just spent some time kicking it with Jesus, or I was kicking it with Jesus, or like chilling with Jesus, or whatever I say, it just means that I was spending some time with my homeboy Jesus. I like saying it like that. I just like saying I was kicking it with Jesus because that's what it feels like. So I'm going to go to bed now. I've got work at 6am tomorrow, which means I have to wake up at like 4.30 because it takes me over half an hour to get to work. So I'll have to leave at 5.15 in the morning. So yeah, if I get up at 4.30, oh, I probably have to get up earlier than that, maybe 4.15 because I have to shower and stuff. So yeah. And then I've got a full day of uni work again tomorrow, but that's all right. Hopefully we'll get some more work done and it'll just tick some more things off my to-do list. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning guys, it is Wednesday today and it is like 10.30 a.m. I had work this morning, like really early this morning and then I went to the shops before I came home so I thought I'd do a grocery haul because I feel like this has turned into a bit of a tradition, like you can't have a weekly vlog without a little grocery haul. But as you guys know, I only really buy what I need and I don't really have to buy a lot of stuff because it's just for me and I don't eat like a whole lot. Like as in, I don't eat like a family's worth of stuff. So I'll show you guys what I got because although I kind of think this is boring, I find grocery hauls really interesting. So, oh anyway, I'll just show you what I got. So the first thing I got is super exciting. It is just some tidy bags. So they're just garbage bags, but they're just like smaller versions of garbage bags because I don't have like a huge bin. I just have like a 20 liter, 30 liter bin. And this is the kind of size that I need. And people always ask me why I justify what I buy, but I just find it more interesting than going, I got garbage bags, I got this, I got that, I got this. So that is why. I also, I, my fridge started making very loud noise. I also got some gray lead pencils because I lost mine. Actually, it was really funny. I was sitting in a lecture with George Woodford a few weeks back and I was onto my last pencil and then I dropped it under the seat of the person in front of me in a lecture and we were trying to like see if we could pick it up and it just did not happen. So I needed to get some more of those. I also got some bread because I needed some bread. I finished all of mine. I've never finished like a loaf of bread by myself before. Every other time I've like chucked it out halfway through because it's just gotten too old or something, but I freeze mine so it lasts a long time because I'm not gonna eat a whole loaf of bread in a couple of days, so. I also got some veggie chips. I love veggie chips. I don't know how healthy they are for you, but they're not like as bad as normal chips, I think. And they taste so, so, so good. I just got these kind of for like uni snacks. I thought it would be better to chuck some in a little bag or a little container or something to take with me to uni because I get really hungry at uni, but it's so much more expensive if I buy them. Like even if I split each of these packets into two or three servings or four, I don't know. How many servings is in here? Five. Oh, awesome. So if I separated this into five servings, although, and they were on sale for like two for six dollars. So that's like three dollars each. And then if you cut that into like five servings or I probably eat more than a serving because 20 grams doesn't sound like a lot, but even just like three or four servings, that is so much cheaper than buying something at uni. So much cheaper. Then I also got some cheese because my other one got moldy because it takes me a long time to get through a block of cheese. I also got some honey leg ham. These ones are really good. These are the ones my parents get, I think, because they just come in the little like container, I guess. So like it stays fresher for longer. And I could pro I think I can freeze these as well. Actually, I might be able to do that. And those are really, really good for sandwiches and stuff because I love ham and cheese sandwiches. And I got some watermelon because I love watermelon and no matter what I do, I can't ever seem to finish my watermelon before it gets like a bit yuck. So I try to find the smallest watermelon that I possibly can, but I still never finish it. So we will see. How much was this watermelon? It was like $2.50. That is so inexpensive. But that is all that I got today. And I think I'm gonna make myself some food because although it's only like 10 a.m., I've been awake for a very long time and I am quite hungry. So I'm gonna make myself a sandwich or something and then just get into hardcore uni work because that is my life this week so i'll see you guys later hey guys so it's like 4 45 almost 5 o'clock now um 
I don't know, I'm just feeling a bit, I guess I'm in a funk. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not really having a very good day. Like, work was really good this morning. Oh my gosh, my mascara has smudged heaps under my eyes because I took a nap earlier. Because since I had to wake up so early for work, I was kind of like dead. Yeah, I don't know, I just haven't, like there's not really any reason. I just, do you ever have those days where you just kind of, you just don't have a great day? Like, I haven't had a bad day. It's just one of those days where I feel like I haven't got much done, I haven't been very productive, and I'm like trying to, but it's just like I get distracted or I just can't focus and it's just really frustrating me because I have so much work to do. But I'm trying to get stuff done. Right now I'm just doing some readings. Well, I'm going over some readings for one of my classes and I'm just highlighting things. It looks like I'm highlighting everything, but like each color that I'm highlighting represents something different. So yellow is just like general information. Red is more like quotes from a specific source. Um, orange is like more like um, statistical sort of stuff and green is like the limitations and like the downfalls of the experiment because I'm reading like a lab report and um, then I'll do other parts and as I get further in I'll do um, other parts as well. I've read through it already but I'm kind of like going through it and highlighting stuff now. We had to uh, pick a paper to read from. I'm really behind on this assignment, basically, which is really frustrating. So tonight I'll probably just keep working on this. And then tomorrow I've got uni all day or until like four. I've been talking for a long time again because I have just been rambling a lot in this vlog, I feel like. Not just like today, but just like this vlog in general. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping that I get out of this funk soon i feel like i might just need a new day like hopefully tomorrow i'll be a bit better but it's really frustrating because i feel like i've wasted this whole day so we will see i hope i feel better tomorrow i'm sure i will i'm sure i will yeah i'm just excited for this like week to be over but i hope that i get all of my assessment done so we'll see how it goes I'm still feeling kind of like, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. I'm just like, yeah, not feeling very motivated today. I really just want to curl up into a ball and take a nap. But that's really not productive and I have a lot of work to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shower, wash my hair because I needed to do that anyway. And then just put a face mask on. Or actually I'll cleanse my face first. And then put a face mask on and then continue to do this work. Because uh, I'm so annoyed because I did take a nap earlier because I was just feeling like so drained. That's a good way of putting it. I guess I'm just feeling really drained. So I took a nap earlier because I woke up so early. And I was thinking about it. I was like, oh good, now I can like stay up later tonight and get like some more work done but I can't really do that because I have to wake up really early tomorrow morning for uni even though my first class is like cancelled and that's my 8am class so I don't have my 8am class but I do have my 9am class but if you get to uni like any later than like 8ish or 8.30 then you can't get a park so I'll probably just get there at the normal time that I get there and then I will go study in the library probably but I'm rambling again I need to stop rambling so I'm gonna go have a shower and make myself feel a little bit better Oh my gosh, I look crazy. But um, I've got lawn clippings all over my face at the moment. Just kidding. This is Herbalism by um, Lush. It's a facial cleanser. I'm really loving it. My friend Georgia got it for me for my birthday. She, like lives by this like she raves about it and I wanted it for so long and she got it for me for my birthday which is so awesome and I honestly do think it is making a good and I honestly do think it's making a big difference to my face I'll show you guys when I've got my um face mask on because it looks crazy I look insane so this is the don't look at me face mask and it's literally it reminds me of toothpaste it kind of smells like toothpaste a bit and I don't know why it just reminds me of toothpaste <laughs> but um it looks really cool and I really like it. So I'm going to keep this on for like 15, 10, 15 minutes and then I'll wash it off and then I'll continue to keep working. 